The Shelby Mustang is a high-performance variant of the Ford Mustang built by Shelby American from 1965 to 1967 and by the Ford Motor Company from 1968 to 1970. In 2005, Ford revived the Shelby nameplate for a high-performance model of the fifth-generation Ford Mustang, 1. First generation, 1965 to 1970. 1965 to 1966 Shelby GT350. 1965 Shelby Mustang GT350. 1966 Shelby GT350. Shelby GT350. Overview. Production 1965 to 1966. Assembly United States, Los Angeles, California. Body and chassis. Body style, two-door fastback. Two-door convertible. Two-door hardtop. Powertrain. Engine 289 CUN. 4.7 L, Windsor, K-Code V8 4-barrel carb. Transmission 3-speed automatic. 4-speed manual. Dimensions. Wheelbase 108.0 in, 2743 mm. Length 181.6 in. 4,613 mm. Chronology Successor Standard 1967 Shelby G.T.350 and 1968 Shelby Cobra GT350 2016 Ford Shelby GT350, GT350R GT350H 2006 to 2007 Ford Shelby GTH 1965 GT350R The 1965 to 1966 cars were the smallest and lightest of the GT350 models Production started when 289 AC Cobra production was wrapping up and 427 AC Cobra production was beginning, both of which were Ford-powered AC-based two-seat sports car also produced by Shelby American during the same period. Both models used the Cobra emblem, similar paint scheme, and the optional Cobra valve covers on many GT350s that were part of a marketing tie-in by Shelby, as well as one of his iconic symbols. All 1965-66 cars had the Windsor 289CUN, 4.7L, Hippo K-Code 271 horsepower, 202 kilowatts. 275 PS, V8 engine, modified with a large four-barrel Holley 715 CFM carburetor to produce 306 brake horsepower, 310 PS, 228 kilowatts, at 6,000 RPM and 329 LBFT. 446 Nm, of torque at 4,200 rpm. 2. 3. Marketing literature referred to this engine as the Cobra High Riser due to its high riser intake manifold. Beginning as a stock Mustang with a 4-speed manual transmission and 9-inch live rear axle, the cars were shipped to Shelby American where they received the high-riser manifolds, tri-y headers, and were given larger Ford Galaxy rear drum brakes with metallic linings and Kelsey Hayes front disc brakes. The 1965 GT350 was not built for comfort or ease of driving. 
There were 34 GT350 or race spec cars built specifically for competition use under SCCA rules, and the model was the B production champion for three straight years. 4. The 1966 GT350 was more comfortable for casual drivers, including rear seats, optional colors, and an optional automatic transmission. This trend for more options and luxuries continued in the following years, with the cars becoming progressively larger, heavier, and more comfortable, while losing much of their competitiveness in the process. The 1969 GT350S and GT500S were largely styling modifications to a stock Mustang. By 1969, Carroll Shelby was no longer involved in the Shelby GT program, and the design was done in-house by Ford. The 1965 and 1966 GT350S were delivered from Ford's San Jose assembly plant in body in white form for modification by Carroll Shelby's operation originally in Venice Beach and later at Los Angeles International Airport. San Jose cars carried an R in the Ford VIN denoting that facility. 5. The only year that Shelby Mustangs from the 1960s came from another plant was 1968, where they came from New Jersey, T in the VIN, 6, and were modified by A.O. Smith. 1965 GT350 S. All 1965 GT350 S were painted in Wimbledon white with Guardsman blue rocker stripes. Very few GT350 S were delivered to the dealer with the optional Le Mans stripes, a pair of color stripes that run the length of the entire car from the hood through the roof and the tail. Approximately 28% of the 562-1965 cars built had Le Mans stripes. Dealers often added the stripes, probably at the customer's request. 7. Today, it is difficult to find a GT350 not so equipped. Many early 1965 cars had the battery relocated to the trunk which was changed mid-year from complaints of fumes, and had overrider traction bars, relocated A-arms, as well as other modifications. Overrider traction bars are so named because of their design being on top of the leaf spring as opposed to underneath them. There was only one transmission available, a four-speed Warner T10 manual. The exhaust system in the 1965 GT350 was a side-exit dual exhaust with glass pack mufflers. Fourteen cars were equipped with rear-exiting exhausts to meet state regulations for sales in certain areas. For this one year, the GT350 also had special 130 miles per hour. 210 kilometers per hour rated Goodyear blue dot tires named for the prominent blue dot on each sidewall the 1965 GT350 had a full size spare tire mounted in place of rear seats making it a two seat only vehicle to be allowed to race under SCCA regulations as a sports car and rode on either silver-painted steel wheels or special cast magnesium center Craig R. Shelby 15 rims with chrome center caps marked with a stylized CS. Total 1965 model year production was 562 units. 1966 GT350S 1966 Shelby GT350 For 1966, the GT350 lost its Mustang tag and was marketed simply as the Shelby GT350. 8. 
The new model year also saw the introduction of non-white colors, including blue, red, green, and black. Other changes included special rear quarter panel windows replacing the factory extractor vents, functional brake scoops on each side, and optional select shift 3-speed automatic, as well as an optional Paxton supercharger. The battery was no longer relocated to the trunk for 1966, and the overrider traction bars were discontinued. The normal factory fold-down rear seat was optional. While early 1965 cars had black engine blocks, 1966 and later cars had their engines painted the regular factory for dark blue. The 1966 models came with a dual exhaust exiting in the rear. The first 252 GT350S for 1966 began as 1965 Mustang K-Coat Fastbacks. These cars were specifically ordered by Shelby American for conversion into 1966 GT350S. Upon delivery to Shelby American, the cars were randomly picked for conversion. The Shelby Vents do not correspond in numerical order with Ford Vents. The Ford Vents were shipped in blocks, but many differ significantly because of the order that they were selected for conversion. Total production for 1966 was 1,373 fastbacks, including two prototypes and four drag cars and the 252 early production models with Ford Mustang 1965 bodies. In order to help Shelby sales, Ford, the major shareholder of Hertz, persuaded the rental car giant to purchase 1,003 fastbacks, including two prototypes. Four experimental GT350 convertibles were also built for test purposes in anticipation of a 1967-1-2 convertible, 9, offering, bringing total production to 2,378 units for 1966. A small number of the 1966 models were fitted from the factory with Paxton superchargers, but not the no-spin limited slip differential. With an option price of $670, the engine was rated at 440 horsepower, 328 kilowatts, the 10, 11, 12, 